It felt good. It felt good getting out there and being back with, with the guys. I've been waiting for this moment, but I wasn't expecting it like this. I mean, obviously in soccer you win, you lose, you tie, but um, we didn't have a, a, a good night, but it was, it was good to be back. Oh, I mean, it's tough. I mean, San Antonio is obviously a hardworking team that you, I mean, we always got to respect the, the team we're playing against. But, I mean, it's tough, too, because it is. Um, we made mistakes. We made mistakes, but um, uh, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. And I'll just take the good that I'm back. The team's already focused on the next game, and we're ready to go. Somebody that has a lot of experience uh, in, in your position. Uh, what were some what were some of the observations that you saw uh, from from the Toros uh, at, at the moment you came in that you tried to improve uh, to try to get the win? I think we're doing well. I mean, as you see, in San Antonio just played every ball they got. They played a long ball and they try to pressure right there, and they they would look for a mistake. And we knew how they were playing, but we made mistakes. We made mistakes on the first, second, and the third goal. I tried to come out planned. It was pretty windy. I didn't hit the ball right. Counterattack, try to finish the play. I didn't finish it. They scored. But I mean, um, it's a quick turnaround. The good thing, we still got a lot of games. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. So, I mean, I think we have a good team. We have a good team. All the pieces are getting um, back together. All the injured players are back. So, I mean, we're ready. I think this team uh, can do good things. So. Um, now we just got to focus on Wednesday against Atlanta and try to get the win there. Focusing a little bit of, of the positives, uh, what have, from what you've seen from the sidelines uh, in these past couple of, of months since the season started, what do you think has been the most improved aspect of this team going into this latter part of the season? I think we moved the ball very well. We just have to have a – we started – the first games, first five, six games, scoring goals. You know, we were one, two, zero. But now it's been tough. I mean, we don't have that killer instinct. We don't take shots from outside the box. Um, we try to play in, in where there's uh, too many. Uh, it's too tight. You know. So, I think the first half today we did a good job. We were we were um, opening San Antonio up, and then when they figured out we were opening them, they started playing out wide, and that's when we can play inside a little bit. So. Um, I think this team is, is it's coming a long way as coach um, has built it. I mean, obviously, it's the, the beginning of the season. But I mean, I think we'll finish strong for sure. My final question to you is, you know, the, both teams took the initiative uh, to do a moment of silence uh, at the uh, 21st minute for the, uh, for the uh, Uvalde shooting. Uh, as someone who, who was born in, in Texas, uh, what what are your thoughts on this uh, on this initiative and this whole uh, issue in general? It's sad, man. I mean, I have kids of my own. I mean, as the commentator was saying the names, um, I had tears in my eyes. I mean, those kids had a life ahead of them, and just some guy out of the blues just decides to walk up in a school and just start shooting up people. I mean, what is this world coming to? You know what I'm saying? So. I think we have to do better. We're paying millions, billions on a war that's not ours, and we're not focused on these little small things that can happen in our country. You know, so I mean, it's it's sad. It's sad. Um, I've been in Mexico for a long time, and that stuff doesn't happen in school. It's rare. And now that I come back home, and I see all this, it's it's sad. I mean, so many kids with the future. And just a guy that decides just to take their lives away, I mean, that's a coward way to go out, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I think they should have better security in schools now after this happened. I think they should have, it should be tight now, have um, cops at least two or three at every school just in case someone wants to do that again.